In this video, we're going to show you how to activate extra hidden features within Ableton Live using the option.txt hack. First, create a plain text file named options.txt and place it in the same folder as Live's preferences file. You can find the exact folder location in the magazine. By adding specific lines of code within this text file, you'll be able to unlock secret hidden features. Make sure Live is closed. Open the options.txt file, add this line shown here, then save the document and reopen live. A new Show Hide Device Slots button is now visible over to the right of the session view, sitting here between the IO and R buttons. Toggle it, and each channel's list of loaded plugins is now displayed directly on the session view, complete with a device on off button for each device. However, you can only see the first four plugins in the chain. Next, we'll look at how to map multiple drum rack parameters to one macro. When you've got multiple simplers or samplers within the same drum rack, manually assigning each one's parameters, e.g. transpose or volume, to a single macro is a laborious process. Until now, that is. As before, close live and open the options.txt file before typing this line. Save the file and reopen live. You can now right click any parameter within the drum rack and choose the new Map to All Siblings option from the menu to automatically assign every instance of that parameter to the same macro. It's useful to be able to automatically record arm the currently selected track. So to do this, follow the same process as before, except add this line into the options.txt file and save it. Now, when you click on any track, it will automatically activate record arm. Toggling a device's Unfold Device Parameters menu, i.e. the small triangle button here, accesses a panel that can be populated with that device's parameters. By hitting the Configure button and wiggling a desired parameter on the plugin's interface, a quicker way to do this is by adding this line into the options.txt file. You can change this number to from between 1 and 128 to set the amount of available parameters the plugin must have in order to auto populate the list. Finally, when recording automation data in real time using the mouse or a MIDI knob, you've probably noticed this creates hundreds of messy breakpoints, leaving you to smooth out curves manually if you want more editing control. However, by adding this line into the options.txt file, Live will automatically smooth out automation into a straight line. 